stories of the Bible. Jesus appears to Thomas. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. But some people did not like what Jesus was doing and they put him to death. He died on a cross and was buried in a tomb. For three days, Jesus' body laid in that tomb and it seemed that there was no hope. But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body, found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! For he was risen, he was alive. What? Hey ah! Jesus appeared to his disciples to show them that he was alive. One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, was not with the others when Jesus came. Hey, hey Thomas! Later, the disciples told Thomas, we have seen the Lord. But Thomas said, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands, put my fingers into them, and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Oh, hey guys. Peace be with you, he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer, believe. Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Kids Church. So we have been continuing our story about what happened after Jesus died. Sometimes we think of Easter and we think it's just happened once and then life goes on. But there's lots of great lessons to learn um, afterwards and how people responded. And in today's story, we saw Thomas and Thomas wasn't quite sure if he believed that God had um, actually brought Jesus back to life and he needed to see Jesus. Now, in the story, was Jesus mad at Thomas because he had questions and he wanted to see? No, he showed up in love. So we're going to talk a little bit about love for a moment here. So I have this sheet of paper and it says love, maybe backwards for you. And we're going to count the corners. Can you guys count with me? Let's see. One, two, three, four corners. So now God will tell us that we need to share love with other people. So we're just going to take a bit of this love and we're going to share it. Now let's count our corners again. One, two, three three, four, five. We have more love now. So what happens if we continue to share our love? And we give some more love away. Now how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. We get more and more love the more we share. Well, in the Bible, God tells us that we need to show love to people. But you know how we get to show love for, to people? We can show love to people because God has shown love to us first. And we see that in the Easter story, right? Jesus um, died for us. God gave us his son to die for our sins so that we could live for forever and that we would get to know Jesus and that sin wouldn't separate us from Jesus anymore. He really wants to have us really feel his love. And we can't do that when there's sin in our life. We don't feel his love is in, in quite the same way. Jesus wants to um, show us his love. And so he continually shows us love and gives love to us in so many different ways in our life, and including in our story. And he asks us to give love to people as well. And look what happens. 
As we give love away, we all of a sudden now have a circle. Now, in the Bible, it talks about how God's love never stops. It never um, has a beginning or it doesn't have an end. It just keeps going, kind of like a circle. So do you guys know what today is? Today is Mother's Day. And so you get to celebrate a mother. Now, some people um, have different types of relationships with their mom. Sometimes it's maybe a family friend or an auntie or grandma who's been kind of like a mom to you and has shown you love. Um, it might be the mom in your house that you've grown up with all your life who shows you love. And today on Mother's Day, I want you guys to also think too, think of all the ways your mothers have shown you love and think of how you could show love to your mothers today. And just like in our story where Thomas doubted Jesus and he had questions, sometimes you guys doubt what your moms tell you too. And you, one of the classics in my house is when I tell my children to wear a jacket because it's cold out and they're like, it looks sunny, it's fine. And they come home and they're like, I was cold. <laughs> sometimes you may doubt your mom, but you know what? Your moms love you no matter what. I know I love my kids no matter what. And so I want you guys to remember that you have been shown love by God and you can give love to others by showing love to your friends, to your community, to your mothers, um, to your siblings, if you have a brother or sister in the house or your cousins. And as we should give love and show love to others, God continues to fill us up and gives us more and more love to share. And that is a beautiful thing. So I want you guys to remember that this week. Let's stop and say a little prayer and thank God for our mothers today. And then we'll wish you goodbye. Thank you, Jesus, that it's Mother's Day and that we can remember that our moms have given us so much. I'm so thankful for my mother. And I pray that you would help us to show love to our moms and to the people around us as well, just as you have shown love to us and has given us so much love to share. Thank you for our time to remember um, the stories from the Bible and how they give us direction and power in life, as well as a reminder to show love. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.